When you think of saber-toothed cats, chances are you're thinking of the iconic Dirk II saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis, which has massively elongated canines or sabers, and is best known from the La Brea Tar Pits in Southern California. Smilodon fatalis was also found in Nashville, Tennessee, the inspiration for the Nashville Predators hockey team. Our team of researchers integrated data from stable isotopes, dental microwave texture analysis, and morphology to reconstruct the diets and behavior of this ancient animal and to test the hypothesis that it was eating such things as juvenile mammoths. Friesenhorn Cave is located just outside San Antonio, Texas, and has preserved several individual homotherium skeletons alongside numerous juvenile mammoths. It has produced fossils and their publications for just about 100 years now going back to about 1920. <clears throat> so the, uh, it's been an important uh, site for a long time. The business of the uh, large number of uh, juvenile mammoths, of course, raises the question that uh, was uh, the big cat responsible for dragging them in? It's sort of very tempting to say yes, but how do you, how do you really demonstrate that? And, so how can we infer the diet and hunting behavior of homotherium? In the case of fossils, we can examine the chemical makeup of their teeth and infer if they consume prey that resided in grasslands or forests or both. As the saying goes, you are what you eat. Everything you eat is incorporated into your tissues, whether that's your teeth, your bones, your hair, or your fingernails. In our study, what we learned is that the stable carbon isotope data of tooth enamel from homotherium were indistinguishable from that obtained from baby mammoths, while also being consistent with the consumption of other primarily open habitat prey like bison and horses. In addition to studying the chemical signatures in their teeth, we can also study the microscopic wear patterns on their teeth. Now, what we were able to show is that homotherium not only avoided bone, much like modern cheetahs do today, but they also ate tougher food than any living cat studied, consistent with the consumption of the tough flesh of baby mammoths. The morphology of homotherium was very different from that of other saber-toothed cats, such as the famous Smilodon. One obvious difference was the shape of their upper canines, which in a Smilodon were extremely elongated, with a moderate degree of lateral compression and with very thin serrations along their borders. In contrast, Homotherium had much shorter upper canines, with an extreme lateral compression and with coarse serrations along their margins. These differences in morphology in turn imply some difference in their biting method that they used to kill their prey. But both cats also had very different body proportions. While Smilodon was extremely heavy, with short and powerful legs, the limb bones of Homotherium were less robust and more elongated, showing that it could run at moderate speeds for longer distances. Such a body plan seems well adapted to foraging over large areas and chasing prey on open spaces. Also, the claws of Homotherium were smaller and less retractable than those of a Smilodon, which is a good adaptation for efficient walking and running, but makes the individual cat less able to capture prey by itself. One way for Homotherium to compensate for the loss of grappling ability would be group action. Just like modern lions do, Homotherium individuals could join forces to bring down such prey as young proboscideans, but their specialized upper canines would help them kill those prey much more rapidly. Homotherium was truly a cat like no other. It shared similarities with cheetahs and hyenas and preferred the flesh of baby mammoths, bison, and horses. Now, we don't know how frequently Homotherium ate baby mammoths, whether it was opportunistic or a common occurrence. We may never know, as the bones from Friesenon Cave have been difficult to radiocarbon date. However, we have gained incredible insights about the dietary ecology of the saber-toothed cat, one that used to roam throughout the globe, with the exception of Australia and Antarctica.